Um, so, this is part two of this P Dragon. Uh, if you haven't watched the first episode, go watch that, please. But, so, this is me coloring all the parts needed. Well, I can't really remember. Was it like white? I think. And I noticed I've been at some spots. Yes, I will fix them later. And by later, I mean right now. So that's me fixing the two back spines that I missed. So, oh yeah, and, and I have the color there inside white. So that'll be fun. <laughs> That's me checking with a color that pale white. And uh, this is me doing the same gradient I did for the eye on the horns. True. And another. That's, that's me using the next shade. And then the next shade, and I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. And now the next shade. Yeah. And that's the lightest color I'm gonna use, aka that, that cyan blue thing. <laughs> Yes, just the eye, it looks splendid from far away, but we need to, yeah, I need, pass me wanted to make that real, actually, I need to check the recording because if I haven't told you already in the first episode, the iPad can, I, I record these on can just randomly glitch out and completely stop the recording so that's me doing the colors on the other horn just scribble around it's not that hard feel free so that's me filling in all the colors and that's all the colors I need on the horn but they're not blended yet. So that's what uh, Pass Me is doing right now. I adjusted the blender tool and just went and just blended the colors together. Yeah, that's literally this blender's entire purpose. I think it blends stuff together the best and the people who do it know I'm doing this on art set. And it, I'm pretty sure it costs some things to get this brush, but... I recommend it. I definitely recommend it, because... It blends things so good, and this also the other strokes. Because it just makes your life easier. Mm, that's good. I don't think it. So that is me blending all the parts together. So I yeah, that's me blending it all together. I'm pretty sure I said that forty times, but that's me blending the other horn together. I, I just feel like I'm out of words right now. Okay, now that I'm done with the horns, I have more words. That is me trying to blend in the frill to see what would happen, but I didn't really like the results, so I left it be. And, uh, I tried to 
I literally just grabbed that color, checked the recording because it unrecords sometimes and accidentally used a blender tool. But this is me outlining the wings in this blue, but it, I, I just have to worry with my commentary because silent mode doesn't exist anymore. So th this is, like I said in part one, you kind of just scribble along the edge until you finish the shape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the shape needs to be enclosed. Anyway, this is me barely starting on the middle part of the wing. Anyone who didn't know, his wings are not made of fire. It's just that the the wings glow, okay? Boring. 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 So that is me doing that. There are so many edges I needed to do, but it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Trust me. So... Oh. This is me just scribbling on, on the edge, trying to keep the edge as smooth as possible, but still scribbling among the it on the edge i don't know how to explain things i i actually don't know and i have a video i do you have mind that i've already recorded and it's more it's a lot more than an hour long so it might get separated into four parts I don't know, but anyway, this is me doing more scribbling around the edges. Text the recording. <laughs> That's me just going along the end. Okay, what the? So, I was almost done with the metal wing. And I don't know where my kitty went, but she's probably just downstairs and I'm recording this on the second floor. There's, there's three floors including the basement. And I don't think we have an attic, so... That is me just lining the edge. Oh. Uh. uh. So this is me just doing more scribbling along the edge. It's nothing else you really do while lining something. And uh, there are a few seconds. That it was in her. 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 <laughs> That's me just scribbling all on the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure I used up all my words. All my words. Oh, I have more words. So, it's me just scribbling along the edge. On the back of the middle wing, and... 
I dare you guys to guess in, guess in the comments what the video idea that we recorded already is to have pink and means. So to have taken me so long. That is me removing unneeded parts. Because in some parts I may accidentally make it too thick of it. And uh, that's me finished with the middle wing. I checked the recording. Bowing, 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 bowing. So that is me starting on the small part of the wing because past me didn't even want to think about starting on the large part of the wing. I still remember my thoughts. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> So, more scribbling among the edge boredom, I guess. I'm completely out of words now. Here comes more words. Uh, so... This thing is taking forever, yes? Uh -huh. And more scribbling along the edge. Really boring to just scribble along the edge of something. But it was totally worth it, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking at the moment, but... I mean, I don't know what I was thinking when I started this thing, but somehow worked out. Every, uh, yeah, what? <laughs> so, uh, that is past me. Just. Scribbling among the edge. I'm almost completely out of words. Huh. So that's just me. Doing more scribble and a monkey. So that's basically what happened on the wings. Like I genuinely don't know what words I could use. <laughs> Almost at the flame. So that's me doing more scribbling among the edge, yes. There's too much scribbling among the edge, and you can just skip this part if you want. So, uh... That's me checking the recording. <laughs> Smooth. Try. That's me doing more scribbling among the edge. No friend. So, uh, that's a lot of edges to scribble upon. We still have the large part of the wing to do. That's gonna be fun. Uh. 
so that's me almost finishing there's a small part of the wing okay. and uh, if you hear a door scratching that's my cat trying to get into my parents room So yeah. yeah, and Kitty Cat just went in. He's a piece of bread, and he's so cute. And so I almost finished the small part, and I have what the oh, that's me finishing up the small part. And uh, it forms a very weird shape in that clip, so just, I don't know. And the uh, past me just finished the small part, so yippee. Yeah. And I got the large part. -er. First, I colored the two white because what better things to do than that? I kind of just did some patching here and there. Nothing too special. And uh, I grabbed the blue color again and started out on the largest part. I know. Fun. Right, it, right scribbling along the edge of, of, of three pairs of wings. Rate it from zero to ten. How fun, all the scribbling among the edges. And yes, I, I did not say edges. I said edge is. is. Edge is, okay? Okay, okay. So uh, this is me just scribbling along the edge. I'm. I'm lost of words right now. Hey, hey, uh, it's really easy to do this and it gives really nice results, but, uh, but, uh, it is not the most fun thing to explain and stuff. And, uh, oh, we're almost done with the large part. Yippee. Seriously, though, I. I kind of, at this point, recommend skipping after all this because, well, it's kind of dumb. And yes, I, I, this is me just shading along the edge. Yes, I said that 40 times, but do I care? No. Com comment if you care. So, that's me finishing up the large part of one side's wings. Yeah, and this guy doesn't really fly. He just stays underwater, and yes, he has gills, but you can't, you just can't see them. But he just stays underwater, and... His wings are not for flying, but they're just for swimming. But the, he can fly with them if he tries very hard. So, uh, that is me doing some more scribbling among the edge. Wow, this process is getting so repetitive and I totally if you said, okay, I don't know what I just said there, but if you agree with me that this process is absolutely too repetitive, then I don't know, you, you can comment, I guess. And uh, so that's me finishing up the top part of the wing, and I still have more, I still have like a pair to do. Like a couple wings. Couple wings too, if you didn't know. 
it is repetitive. So, uh, this is me just, yeah, I finished the large part tag, the recording, and it's already the large part of the se second pair, what, I don't know. Okay, rigid. These things are rigid. These aren't tutorials really anymore, so you can you can learn how to draw the lines in the first episode and this episode is kinda just for but for some of the coloring and the background and the glow and stuff I hadn't forgotten yet. So uh this is me just it did end up filling the rest of that part because, wow, I hated scribbling among the edge. But it still looked nice, so it's accepted. And, uh, I, I guess, what the, I kept scribble. what am I saying at this point? I kept scribbling for the second, what do you call them? The smallest pair of weight and the scribbling among the edge is repetitive and these random strands of like fluff and not really fluff but like the coral sea grass blue glows whatever whatever this thing is Glows and stuff. And yes, they are very messy and can form can form strange shapes. Wow. That sounded weird. And uh, so that is me just This is me just um Finishing up the second pair of smallest wing. The second part of what? The pair of smaller wings. That's what I'm gonna call them from now. Don't judge me. I don't care. Comment if you care. And this is me just. Yeah, just finishing it up and smoothing out the line. So I'm pretty sure that was everything. I had to undo some lines or something, I'm pretty sure. And yes, there was a little bit of a glitch here, but I fixed it. Yeah, I wasn't really confused on what was going on, so I just decided to remove it by hand rather than undo it. So that was a little bit of a glitch there. And I check the recording. And uh, this is me making a deep blue for the background. I wanted him to pop, so I made a lot of the scales glow. Mostly his wings, but also his fire, his horns, and his tail and the stuff on, on his back and stuff, you know, and I tried to draw like sun rays, but they didn't work out at the moment since I didn't have all parts filled in white and it looked just kind of strange. So I patched, so I ditched that idea. Yes, that was done on another layer, period. And then I filled in the other parts. I forgot I was on a wrong layer, so I had to has it switched to the right layer? I'm pretty sure I merged them together. But, uh, that's me doing everything needed to make these things do what they're supposed to. And I'm pretty sure I made the white stripe glow. And yes, you saw what you just saw. 
for a clue. So, uh, that is me grabbing the deep blue and filling in the gaps that has that are escapees and I tried to grab the correct color but it just wouldn't work so I adjusted the color simple solution yes I know and I made the back parts glow and yes it was only that well bent I realized I forgot the color of the ear but I just decided with a simple light blue and went on with coloring or I guess adding glow I guess I don't know how to explain this this is me just glowing the way glowifying what I don't know sometimes I have like a hundred brain cells but some but most of the time I have like two brain cells so uh, I apparently don't know the word for adding glow to something. So uh, that is me doing the way. <laughs> yes, adding glow is really easy. That's me adding glow to the end of the tail and to the parts on the back. Y y you see, this was the feel I was going for, okay? Hush. And uh, this is me just adding glow to the teardrop scales and the eyes. Yeah. So, uh, this is me just putting in all the colors needed for these glowy parts. I, I meant teardrop scales, okay? So, uh, I just finished that up, and, uh... I'm pretty sure I added glow to the underbelly. Fun fact, I did. So that's me adding glow to the underbelly. And uh, this is me, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is me adding glow to that white stripe. So, yeah, that was fun. But yeah, that really made the white stripe stand out because it is basically the line that separates all the scales. So it deserves to glow as if scales have feelings that they're that have been drawn i don't know but uh it's time to work on the blue buff flame and i randomized the color because why not but i changed the color anyway because it's my my dragon you can't do anything so uh, this is me lining the outside with the color I decided on. So, that's fun. And uh, I used a lighter version of that color. So, uh, that's fun. And the there was a very little space, but I did a lighter color of cyan. So, yep. And then I colored the center white. <laughs> there's not much white, but please. D d there's not much, much space in there anyway. And then I added the glow to it. Yippee. So, uh, that's it for the Pluma Fire, and, uh, this is, this, he, he was fun to make, and stuff, but you 
you might not want to do this on paper because, well, you probably spend way too long on it. But if you have a digital art component, then you can try this out. And uh, then I wrote his name down. I named him Ocean Light because he is basically a lamp in the ocean. Yes, I name I didn't name him that. I, yeah, I did. And uh, this is this is the end of part two, which is the last part of Ocean Light colors. And yes, I did eventually add the three streaks of light. That's me doing that right now. And I merged the layers. Surprise, surprise. And uh, so... I'm done. See you next video.